and welcome to our learning to cook pizza journey and today I'm going to go step by step through how I light the Unifira 12. Let's do it. If you can get good quality pellets they don't need to be expensive they just need to be good enough to get you the high heat and to be as smokeless as possible. So the first thing you need to ensure when you use your oven is that the grate and the hopper area is completely free of any ash or debris from previous cooks. Without that oxygen coming in, it's going to be very difficult to light your pellets. And I think that happens as well when you're cooking one pizza after another with the wood pellet burner. You may need to give it a good clean out after so many pizza cooks. There may be a build up of ash in there. And down in there. There are different ways to light the pellets. I use a butane torch. I always have, going back to the uni three days, where you could actually light the pellets from the side of the oven. There was a little hole where you could put your, your torch and it would burn the, the pellets and you wouldn't have to light them outside of the oven. With the Fira 12, I do have to light them outside the oven before I put them into the oven. So I get the grate out with the pellets and then I, I light it there. I either put it on my, my concrete floor to light or my metal table. Okay, I'll see how that goes. Put that in. I like using the gas burner. I think it's the most efficient and fast way of doing it. They do get the pellets burning pretty quickly. Fifty percent of the time that I've lit the Unifira 12, once I've put the pellets in the grate, it's it's gone out. Okay, so it went out. So this is the fiddly bit now. I've got to try and I've got to relight a hot grate. So I'm going to put it somewhere on concrete and then relight it. I'll be back in a second. Don't go out. This is the fiddly bit. Once this fiddly bit's done, just getting it to light, it's it's good to go. With the Uni 3, you could, there's a little hole there and you could push the gas burner in and, and if it went out, you could just put the gas burner into that hole and it would light it up. Be here. The only bit you can do that with is, is this grate. I just tried that and it didn't work. Oh, there's a flame. Oh, fantastic. Yay. Oh, that's good. If your flame is just starting off, keep this open for a little oh, bit. And then get your flame going. I'm holding it up at the back. See if the flame is bigger. I close it down at the back. open yeah it's dragging it a bit therefore that's good when you're starting off just leave this up for a little bit it drags the flames higher and I'm going to shut it now yeah I'm going to put the door on in a minute. Quickly put the door on. Now when I see there's a really good flame in there, I add more pellets. Can't do this with one hand. I gotta put my phone down. 
Initially I just put one in and then when that's definitely caught because you don't want to block all the air out for the smouldering pellets. Once that's caught then I'll add another batch. Check the front. Yeah, that's good. See, I don't want to drown that bit out by putting in too many pellets right now. So I'll just leave that catch for a second and then I'll add some more. Okay, so after three minutes, I just went for it and I can hear the flame roaring in there. It did only take three minutes. I've just topped it right to the top. It makes no difference because there's no air going through there anyway, so you might as well just top it up. And now is the time. Ooh, look at that. Excellent. Okay, now's the time for me to make my pizza. I go make my pizza, come back halfway, check everything's okay. I do tap the hopper at the back, give it a good tap to dislodge any that may have stuck and not fallen down into the grate. Because if that happens, you're not going to get the continuous flow of pellets down and your fire is going to go really weak. So keep make sure your hopper's feeding that fire, feeding the flames so that the oven gets nicely warmed up. If it's a bit windy, then you really don't need to keep the door open and you may not need to have the hopper kept up. So you have to gauge it how windy it is because if there's um, air blowing through the grate at the back, you're less likely to need to have to lift the hopper and keep the door open to get the flame going. Because these wood pellets are so good at heating up your oven very quickly, they're also very good at heating up the stone quickly too. So I use a cast iron pan to reduce that temperature very quickly. It can take 60 seconds. I get about 100 degrees out of 60 seconds and I can reduce that down to about 420 degrees in about a minute. And then once I've done that, I'm ready to cook. I do cook on this stone at 420, which is a bit lower than I do with the gas fired ovens. Because of the heat, it goes like deep into the stone and it does retain that heat very well tends to burn my pizza base at the back otherwise. So I try and lower it uh, so it's not so hot at the back. And what I would do is I would put the cast iron pan to the further to the back of the oven rather than to the front where the higher heat is because you really don't want to burn your pizza when you launch it to the back of the oven. That's where the high heat will be. You might not need to use your pan, but I've had to use a pan every time I've cooked in the Unifira because it's got so hot so fast, which is a great thing. And because I've got the pan, I don't worry about that at all. And I can work very quickly to get it to the temperature that I want. And once I've done that, I'm ready to cook my pizza. So just to go over the main points, make sure that you've got good quality pellets. Use a good lighter. You may need to light it twice. It happens, but it doesn't matter. Just do it again and go for it. It takes about one minute for your flame to establish and then in about three minutes your flame will be very strong and that's the time three minutes after the flame's established to fill your hopper to the top and make sure it's kept going as your oven heats up. Tap the hopper occasionally just to make sure the pellets fall down. 15 minutes later you should be ready to cook your pizza and if you've got any problems with the heat of the stone in that it's got too hot just use a cast iron pan to bring the temperature down comes down about 100 degrees centigrade in about 60 seconds. So I hope you found this video useful. I surely have enjoyed making this one because I do love lighting pizza ovens. <laughs> so I hope you found this video useful. Let me know what your process is if it's any different from this one in the comments below. Share your experiences. Thank you for watching. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye. And don't forget to check out our website, gottoeatpizza.com. Link is below.